y'all welcome to another video i am debbie with the crafty diamond today i am going to be working on my converted cross stitch into a diamond painting i do have a playlist for this which i will put in the top of the eye and also underneath the description in case you are interested i am using pattern keeper and that is on my kindle fire and I'm using a blank canvas from Evermoment as well as my drills from Evermoment. I am sorry if there is a glare. We are about to get some really bad storms here, it looks like. And of course, as soon as I get everything set up, it starts getting darker out. I have to use my overhead lights. And so that's causing a little bit of a glare off of the plastic on this canvas. So let's go ahead and get started. How is everybody doing today? I hope that you are all healthy and well and that you've had a good week so far. By the time that you will see this, it will be Saturday. I have plans to go to Scrapbook Expo on Saturday, so I am gearing up for that. I am completely ready and I have everything packed, so I will be leaving tomorrow morning to pick up my friend, and then we will be driving over to Expo. And I am gonna be taking a diamond painting. I'm taking one that I have been working on, and then I'm going to take another um, set of the Paint Gym Minis in case by some odd chance I get finished with the painting that I'm working on. Highly unlikely, but you know, it could, it could happen. So I want to have something that I could have to take with me. Today I am going to be working on going through some tag questions as soon as I get started with this, but I wanted to go ahead, get started on this first make sure I have some drills down before I start answering some questions. So if you happen to see my computer, that is why I have the questions on my computer. So that way I didn't have to print it out. I don't have to remember all the questions because there's like 25 of them. So I know I would not be able to remember. And some of them I did have to look up. That was kind of interesting. I may have to also stop and get a glue dot. I thought this pen had one already. And of course it doesn't. It has been a hot minute or 10 since I have given this diamond painting some love. So it is about time that I get started back on this one. I love doing it. I just have not had the time to do it between me going out of town and getting ready to go out of town and work. And then, you know, all the things that I have to do at home. And then also have other diamond paintings I've been working on. So I've been putting this one off just because of that. Not because of I don't wanna do it because I love this diamond painting. But it's just one of those that does take a lot longer. And so because of that, I really have not done what I should. As I'm going through here, I'm going to put these on my containers. It's a lot easier to use these that I can receive from Amazon on the DMC numbers than the ones that I actually just printed and used my Xyron. They're really small and they're not staying on here very well. And I need to be able to see them. I'm going to go ahead and just do two of the squares today because I don't know how long that's going to take. And then also, I still have things to do. I usually don't drive my car whenever I go anywhere with, a, with my friend. Um, she'll usually drive because I usually go and pick her up. Her car is larger. And usually when we go somewhere, she knows better where we're going than I do. And so I just pick her up and then we will go. There's a little bit of plastic under there. We will go and just use her car. But she had asked me because she has some things going on if I would mind driving. And of course I don't, but I would like to go and get my car washed. 
it's not just horrible, but it would be nice to have a clean car to take with me. And of course, now that I decided to do that, it's going to rain. That's going to be four on eight. It goes here. Where's that three? One, two. I'm doing this sideways as usual, so I'm having to count a little bit. But would like to get my car washed. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. Also, we like to take our food when we go somewhere. Usually if we go somewhere, um, we do that because one reason, we don't want to have to get out and fight all the crowds. There's going to be a lot of people where we are going, and it's also a pretty busy city and a busy road. So we would like to, if at all possible, go ahead and get our food. We go ahead and make it in advance. And then we will just use a microwave and heat it up. And, you know, we're okay with that. I know a lot of people may not be. But for us, that works out just perfectly. And so we're doing that again this time. And we're going to have homemade lasagna. And I am going to make salads for us. And then we will just eat off of that for two days. And like I said, a lot of people wouldn't want to do that. For us, it is perfectly fine. We're used to it. It saves us from having to go out and we can just stay at Expo longer and we can craft because we did pay for a table. So we can just come and go between classes and shopping and we can just do whatever we want to. And so that's what we are planning on doing. This is 301 I need. And as I said, I'm going through and doing this as I'm going through. So that's one reason why I'm only going to do two squares because this is going to take a little bit of time to. Now I need, what's the next one? Just depends. I may not do that because some of these, let me just put the ones on here that I'm working on and then I can do the other ones later. So I've got to go get everything I need for the salad doing that um, in just a little bit. I had to work today, so wanted to get everything done so I wouldn't have to worry about it while I was gone. I am taking vacation day at work, which will be nice. Something that I really need to do. I just put that on the wrong one. Of course I did. I'm just going to scoot this up. That's going to go under eight and nine. All right, so that one's done. And then I have more over here. So I am going to have a really nice weekend again. I'm sure that after this weekend, I'm going to have a lot that I really need to focus on in my house because I kind of let it go for a little bit. The whole month of July, I have been going and doing things that normally I wouldn't do. But it's been really nice. And this will be my last hurrah for a while. And I especially need to start saving some money because I have been spending way too much going out. Is that five? One, two, three. Okay, that's five. It's been so long since I've done this. I'm gonna be, probably going to be slow for a while, but I, that's okay too. I'm sure most of you aren't watching anyway. So I do have... A fun weekend planned. I'll have to let you guys know how Expo was. I'll try to take some pictures, but I don't want to infringe on anybody. And with us being in the craft room, unless I can just get like a picture of our table, then I can do something like that. But I'm not going to infringe on others and take pictures with people around. I wouldn't feel comfortable with that anyway. I'll have to show you if I purchased anything. They may have diamond paintings there. Last year, somebody was selling diamond dots. Um, I haven't purchased from diamond dots before. And so I really wasn't sure if on the diamond dots, let's see, this one's on the wrong one too. Good grief. If it was a good price or not, it just didn't seem like a very good price to me. This goes up here. And so I, I didn't purchase it. I really didn't know what I needed or wanted. 
So I didn't get anything, but I'm going to look this year and see. I now know more about pricing, and I'm going to see if there's anything there that's small that I can try, because I know a lot of you have shown pictures on my Facebook group of diamond dots, and you said you really liked them, and so I do want to try them. And I might just go ahead and get something there because they did have a really good variety last year. I just really wasn't sure. This is in the wrong one too. Good grief, what is wrong with me? This one should go there. I hope I don't mess this up because I'm like, keep putting them on the wrong block here. So hopefully I will get some of my diamond painting done. And if I don't, that's fine. That's not what I'm going for. Although it would be nice to be able to be productive. But I'm just going to spend some time with my really good friend, my best friend, and to shop and just to have some girl time. So definitely looking forward to that. Now, of course, the sun's starting to come out, and I am not sad about that. It has been super hot here which I've been staying in for the most part. I told my daughter to stay in because I really don't want her allergies to start flaring up. So maybe we can all stay well and stay cool. I'm dreading getting my utility bill though because I know that it's going to be pretty high. It's been coming on a lot lately but you know when it's 90 degrees plus and it feels like over a hundred out because of the humidity it is what it is i am i'd rather pay than to be hot i cannot stand to be hot and growing up i definitely was all the time in the summer and so i do not ever want to have to do that again if i have to i definitely will but if it's something that we can afford it. It's just going to have to be that way. Unfortunately. Let's see. There's that one. I really want to get back to this project. It's so much fun. And the more that I do this, like daily, I noticed that the faster I was getting, which was really good. And then when I stop doing this for a couple of weeks and I want to get back to it, then I am slow again because I have to get my groove back on and it just takes longer. But that is okay. I'm not in any hurry to get this finished, which is a good thing because it's going to take me a very long time. Although I've picked out a couple of canvases that I would really like to do, a couple of patterns, but I am only going to have one of these going at a time. I just can't imagine having more than that because this one is large enough and I don't want to add to it. And I think that might be a little bit confusing to trying to remember which ones that I'm working on, which pattern that a specific pattern is. So I think that it's just better on my part and my sanity if I just do one of these at a time. I don't really have time to do both if I want to do the other ones that I'm working on. I am planning on with this canvas, I am going to participate in the event that's coming up. I think that's October for the cross stitch conversion. I think that would be a lot of fun. And then there's another one that's in November November that is a cross stitch conversion that I may do. They require a specific amount to be done and so I may go ahead and participate in that one not for prizes or anything but to participate I think that would be a lot of fun and it will also challenge me to get X amount done every day. I think that is just the month of November. I think it's only one month so I might do that one just to see how that goes. And then see how far I can get on this. Because it would be fun if I can get more done. 
there. Okay. Let me look at these tags. And first of all, I want to thank Daphne Diamond Painting Anonymous for tagging me. I really do appreciate that. And at the end, I'm going to be tagging um, some content creators as well. And then they will hopefully enjoy doing these tags. Okay, so the first question on this, and also Michaela Renee was the one that came up with these tags, and these are really good tags. So I want to thank her for doing these tags and also for tagging Daphne, who tagged me. So everyone's tagging somebody, which is really fun. There's those two. Okay. So the first question to this is how many diamond paintings have you completed? I have completed 13 as of today, and that's for the year. And then all times I have completed 58, which really, when I started thinking about it, I thought that just doesn't sound like very many. And for as long as I've been doing this, but it really is. It's quite a bit of diamond paintings. And I don't have my first ones that I did. I wish that I still had them, but I don't, unfortunately. But it was from Amazon. And it was... It was a coffee, it was a coffee cup, and I think it even said, said coffee time on it. It was very small, but I really liked doing it. And I thought, well, this will be something that will keep me occupied for a while. And like a lot of us, I started because of COVID. I was, or the pandemic, I was very busy with work. I was one of those that instead of not having anything to do or being laid off, I had quite a bit. And that's because I'm an instructor. I am, I specialize in online. So during that time, I was asked by several schools to help out with their online program because some had never even had online classes before. So I was extremely busy during that time, which was nice because I needed my mind to be elsewhere and not to be on, you know, all that was going on in the world. And so because of that, it really helped me. It helped me to see that, you know, I could work for multiple schools. I did for a long time work for multiple schools. And I, but I didn't really create very many classes. And also I did not enter anything into what we call shells, which is just a blank class. I hadn't really done that. And with all that was going on, I did. But then I, because of all of that, I needed something at the end of the day to relax me and to help with anxiety, to forget everything that had gone on that day, not to worry about work and to just relax and to just clear my mind. So the main thing I started thinking about is I want something I don't have to think very much. I didn't want to scrapbook. I wanted to do something that was basically, you know, mindless, but that was still crafty. And I'd never even heard of diamond painting until then. And I was just looking around on, on Facebook and then also looking around on Instagram and I kept hearing about diamond painting. So I thought, what in the world is this? I think that I might like it. And went ahead, I bought a very small canvas. 
I started watching videos from different creators and some I still listen to today. So that I thought was really neat. And I bought the one from Amazon. I liked it. I bought another one from Amazon that was larger than the little coffee time. And then I thought there's gotta be other companies that have these that's better quality. And that's something that, you know, I would really enjoy that kind of thing to want to do. And so all of a sudden on Instagram, Diamond Art Club pulled up and I thought, okay, this is a really good looking company. And I like the fact that Diamond Art Club had licensed artists and I fell in love with Mandy Manzano. But the funny thing with that is you know, in like my true fashion of things that I do, I didn't look at the size. I just saw something and I thought, I like this one. I'm going to do it. So that's what I did. Ended up getting Elizabeth from Mandy Manzano. It was a round and I can't remember the size now, but I thought it was absolutely humongous when it came in. And it really... In all reality now, it's not that big for me. It is a large canvas. It does have you know, a lot more colors than the Amazon ones. And of course it was much more colorful, more detailed. And I got that and it took me a little over three months to do it. But I, I single placed everything. Didn't even know that multi-placing was a thing. I mean, that's how new that I was to diamond painting. I had no idea. That there was a thing called multi-placing and started doing the single placing and I just I thought this is kind of hard with all these colors and now I look back on it and I just laugh because I do have that one I actually spent a small fortune on the the frame and it was more so that the frame it fits it perfectly because it looks like an antique frame and Elizabeth, that's what that particular canvas, you know, is Queen Elizabeth. So decided that, okay, I, when I finally finished it, I thought I am going to buy another one. And then Diamond Art Club kept coming out with more and more. They would come out and, and it would be you know, limited. Didn't know how long it was going to take to get the canvases in. And at first it did take a while because of shipping and everything that and the problems that we were having. And then I started collecting a stash. But then I branched out. I thought, well, okay, I love Diamond Art Club and now there are other ones. So let's just check these out and let's see what I can find. So then I found Dreamer Designs and Craftably and several others. And then the rest was kind of history because from there I have found several other companies that I love. So that answered that question number one, but it took a little bit longer because I kind of went into more detail than I probably should have, but I probably will on a lot of these tags because I have time here. So I need to, to do that. So number two is how many diamond paintings do you currently have in your stash? I'm kind of scared to answer this one actually, um, but I will. I have approximately 220 kits, 220 canvases in my stash. Now, some of those are from PRs that I do, some of the discount companies. Um, I do gift quite a few of those, but I am counting them right now because they are currently sitting in my stash. But when I go through, Several of those are part of that 220, so I will have a reduction of my stash once I go through those. I do have a lot of Diamond Art Clubs, a lot of Craftably, Dreamer Designs, um, let's see, Jada Gym Shop. So I have several different companies, but Towards the end of this year, I'm going to go through my stash 
and I am going to decide what I want to do. If I want to keep those, if I want to um, de-stash in some way on my premium companies. And then I'm going to take a true count and I will know as of January the 1st how many that I have in my stash and how many that I plan on doing for the year. And in that way, it will help me on not purchasing so many because I'm going to keep a running total. And I think that's going to help me because I do want to get my stash down to something that is more manageable. But I'm not going to just get rid of my stash just because it's high. I have a place to put them. I have the money. I am happy with my stash for now. So, you know, don't fault me for that, please. I don't want to hear anything negative about my stash. I don't think any of you will, but I have seen some negativity on some other channels when either a stash video is done or even saying how many that they have. I am in no way bragging. It is just what it is that my stash is so large. The third question is, when did you begin diamond painting? I began diamond painting the end of 2020. And I kind of mentioned that on answer number one. Let's see, five, what did I just say? It was 554. Number four question is, if you could only purchase from one diamond painting company for the rest of your life, who would you purchase from and why? That is a really, really hard question. And I've been thinking about this one, actually. I, the, it would be different based on a couple of different things, but I'm going to answer this one truthfully based on how this question is worded. And based on how it's worded, I would have to say Diamond Art Club. And the reason why for that is that Diamond Art Club has the free shipping. If you spend a certain amount, they do have the free shipping. And so I do that. I try to get the free shipping. And even though it's only $10, it still saves on shipping. Their shipping is fast. They have just about anything that you want in stock. Very rarely do they have pre-orders where you have to wait a long time. And if you order from them, you can pretty much know that you're going to receive, or I know that I'm going to receive my shipment in less than a week, especially now that they have moved one of their, or their facilities, it's closer and I can get it in no time. And then I also like how you can use their points. And for me, the points add up because I buy the larger canvases. Usually they cost a little bit more. I can use my points. And so that is helpful as well because some companies, their points are not as good as Diamond Art Clubs. So I have to keep buying before I can really have a purchase using any of other companies, not all of them, but some others. So definitely Diamond Art Club. However, if, if I have an option, I would go with other companies. And one company that I absolutely love is Diamond Painting Deutschland. I would love to purchase more from them, but their shipping is just out of this world for me. I just, I just can't. And I will purchase from them once or twice a year. I probably will not purchase anything else from Diamond Painting Deutschland for the rest of this year. And it's probably going to be at least the middle of next year before I place anything with them. Because I have to have at least two to justify the shipping and they're pricey for the shipping and for what I want to purchase from them. And I, I've only purchased Josephine Walls from them. So that's why I can't say that that would be a favorite company 
but I have others that are favorites as well. Diamond Painting Shop, that's one of my favorite ones, but they, and I love all of their renderings, but they are a smaller shop than Diamond Art Club, so you can't expect for them to have everything in stock, and I don't. So that's the answer to number four. Five is, when diamond, when diamond painting, what is your go-to media to consume? Audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube, etc. And I listen to a lot of YouTube. That's when I really like to listen to other content creators. I like to listen to whipping chats. I have you know, ones that that are my go-tos, and then I have some that I am just finding, and so I'm trying to get caught up on their channels. I also listen to some audiobooks. It really depends on the audiobook, if it's something that I have to pay attention to, or if it's something that I can kind of just listen in the background. If I miss a couple of things, I don't miss half the book. I prefer to read over listening, but obviously I can't read and diamond paint. If I could, that would be something new. And I would get a lot of reading done and more diamond painting. But unfortunately, I don't see how that would work. I don't like to have my books read to me. Like if I do the um, text to speech on my Kindle, that voice is so annoying. It is very slow, no matter how fast you try to make it and it just drives me insane so that one I just I don't do but I also like to listen to podcasts I like true crime and like who done it mysteries kind of things I really do enjoy those which you know sometimes it's kind of it's kind of bad to listen to those it's kind of sad um, I listen to um, different crimes, you know, true crime that's going on and things that are older. I do sometimes watch TV, but it has to be something that I don't really have to pay attention to. I'm just watching it with my husband for the background noise for the most part. Sometimes I will listen to music, but for the most part, then I get tired of that. So I definitely go back to YouTube, a lot of YouTube. So if you have any really good podcasts or if you have any really good channels you like to listen to, let me know. Um, not like content creator wise, but different types of how to's on different things and definitely on, on crimes and that kind of thing. Um, let's see, number six. What is your favorite category to diamond paint? Landscapes, fantasy, animals, etc. I really like fantasy. And one of my last unboxings was from Mary's Diamonds. And that's not fantasy, but I mean, it kind of is. It is Princess Peach. Or my daughter says it's Princess Peach. Let's just put it that way. But it is a princess, and so that to me, it's fantasy. And that I really like unicorns. I like gnomes, um, um, dragons. I don't like anything that is dark. So while I do like dragons, I do not like any kind of dark genre. Um, I don't like anything that's gory, nothing like that at all. Something that I would, you know, enjoy putting on my walls, even though I don't really do that very much, but it would be something that that's how I could determine if I would like it. Um, I love mermaids. To me, that's fantasy. Mermen. Um, I really like... Um, let's see, Greek mythology, but again, nothing dark. I just, I can't do dark. Um, so that is number six, and I enjoy landscapes. I don't often do landscapes, but I enjoy doing landscapes as well. And animals, I really haven't, I've purchased some, 
and I have done one, but that's really it. I haven't done any more, and it's not because I don't want to. It's just when I'm in the mood to diamond paint, and if I don't have a whip that I'm working on, I will just go and decide on my stash what I want to work on, what really appeals to me, and it just depends on what I'm looking at and what pops up. And I'm like, oh yeah, I want to work on that today. Um, let's see. What is the artist you have completed the most diamond paintings from? That's number seven. And that one is Josephine Wall. I have completed three of hers and I am working on the fourth one. And I have several in my stash. So that's definitely Josephine Wall. Um, let's see. Number eight, what is the artist you own the most diamond paintings from? And that is Mandy Manzano. I've only completed two of hers, but I have several. I think I have 15 of Mandy's in my stash, so I think I need to get going on those too. Uh, number nine, what is your go-to wax when diamond painting? I have been trying out different wax, and I don't know why I put this up. I haven't finished it. I've been trying out different wax. I really do like Randa's. So Randa is my go-to, and I think that's mainly because, well, one of the reasons is she was the first wax that I've tried. I really like Wee Wax. I did use Wee Wax um, when was that? It was when I, right after I had started diamond painting. But then Laura with Anxiety Art Adventures, she stopped selling it for a while. And she wasn't sure if she was going to sell it again. And this past week she reopened. And so I ran and grabbed some more Wee Wax. So I do have... We wax that has just come in, so I will be using that again. And then I have others that I am trying. So I need to use the others a little bit longer before I decide if they're gonna be one of my favorites. But I do like trying different wax. I love the smells. I don't like anything that smells like food. I can handle coffee, but if it smells like food or honey buns, you know, something like that, I do not like that. But anything else, I am pretty much game for. Um, number 10, what do you do with your finished diamond paintings? Do you hang them, put them in a portfolio, or something else? I hang some, not very many, and I have, let's see, one, I have three hung up in my house and I'm going to have a fourth one soon because my Jada Gem shop, I purchased a frame for some of the princess ones that I had purchased from her before I even got the actual, before I actually had gotten my order in from her. So they've been sitting around for a while so I am going to hang that one up and I'll show you guys once that's done. And I have a couple of portfolios, different sizes that I do put my finishes in. The smaller 30 by 40s, I do put those in a portfolio because those are really easy. The really large ones that do not fit in a portfolio I did buy this huge portfolio and I really don't like it, but I bought it from Amazon when I first started because I needed a place to put my larger ones and it is absolutely humongous. You can actually carry a TV in it. I don't know what size it is, but you can carry a TV in this thing and to me, it's just, it's really bulky. I keep it underneath my bed. If I had a place to keep it where it could just lay out, it would be okay. But sliding that underneath our spare bedroom bed when it has drills in it, 
that's not the easiest thing and it's just really heavy it's bulky and it doesn't have any kind of backing so I did put some cardboard in there and that did help but still I just it's just not something that I use very often and right now the ones that I have finished for this year I have them over on the side of our spare bedroom because nobody really goes in there when I, we do have somebody that stays with us I just move them but I have those over to the side and I just put those over there so that way whenever I'm ready to do my end of year they will all be together I'm not like I was last year and trying to hunt them down because that was kind of a beast trying to do those but definitely portfolios I might do something else eventually but right now that's what I do I give some away but not very many let's see I'm on 798 Seven, okay. the next one is number 11 do you like to open your kits right away or do you keep them sealed until you are ready to work on them typically I will keep them sealed until I'm ready to work on them however I do have some sneak peeks that I'm starting to do and then I do have some where they've been gifted to me and from companies so I want to open those you know, right away so I can get those on my channel diamond art club I usually wait and I probably should stop doing that I should probably open them and see because I have had a couple of instances where I opened it and I was shocked because what was in there wasn't what was supposed to be in the box or it wasn't what I ordered so I really need to start opening all of my boxes and I kind of like to with diamond art club because once I open the box I do have a small portfolio that I put the drills the um, drill stickers in and that way I can just flip through there and see what I want to work on so that is something that I should probably start having a better handle on it but right now it works for me I'm hoping not to buy as much in the upcoming months so I can wait until Black Friday so we'll see um let's see 12 what is your number one unicorn kit that you currently do not own but hope to someday honestly I don't have one I um had a couple of course I would love to have some more of the Mandy princess that um, have been discontinued but I'm not going to pay an exorbitant amount just so I can have those I do have a few but not very many I had really just started diamond painting when all of that was going on and so it didn't even dawn on me well you know you really like these you might want to think about getting some more and I didn't do it now I kind of regret it but it's not something that I just absolutely have to have and that I would pay dearly to get it 13 what is the kit in your stash you are most looking forward to working on um honestly all of them every time that I open a kit or I look at the box I want to start on that particular kit and I have too many whips going on as it is so I really need to stop doing that but I want to work on all of them if I didn't I would sell them or de-stash them but there's not anything in my stash that I don't care for um 14 do you prefer confetti color blocking or a mix I definitely prefer a mix while I enjoy color blocking I don't like it where it is just so heavy color blocking that I don't make any progress and I'm seeing that on a couple of kits right now and I like to see progress so a mix of the two that way I don't get bored because I get bored really easy and I don't want to get bored on a kit when I do then I tend to put it down and I don't pick it back up for a long time if ever so I need to have a little bit of both 
I do like color blocking. Every once in a while, it's nice to have a canvas that is all color blocking, but not too often. How do you pick which piece you want to work on next? I am a diamond painter that I did prefer at one point, not now, but I did prefer at one point to diamond paint based on the season. So, you know, if we were in summer, I would not want to be doing Santa. But now it's like, it's what I'm in the mood for. So it may be 100 degrees outside. And if I'm looking for a new kit to start, and if I see a Christmas tree or a snowman or Santa or whatever it may be, that clearly doesn't work for summer, I'll go ahead and do it. So it just depends what kind of mood that I'm in. I like to go through, walk through my stash because it's on, it's in a room, storage room in our basement. I like to walk in there and just kind of look around and like I'm going shopping at a store. So I'm basically shopping my, for my, at my own little store and I like that. So that works for me. Um, 16. What is your favorite season or holiday to diamond paint from? I love the fall. I love the fall colors. I love, I don't, I'm not crazy about Halloween. That's not like one of my favorite holidays or anything, but I really enjoy pumpkins and just the colors. The colors are just amazing to me for fall. I do like Christmas. That would be my second one that I enjoy, but I love, love, love the fall. Um, what number are we on? Number 17. Do you work on one kit at a time or have multiple whips at once? Yeah, I have multiple whips at once. As I mentioned, I get bored. I like to start one. I am a serial starter. I do get completions, but I am definitely one of those serial starter people. Um, let's see. 18. Neutral or neutral dark pieces or colorful pieces. I do prefer colorful pieces. I like doing neutral every once in a while. There is a place and a time for neutral kits, but I really do prefer color. I don't like dark pieces. Um, that was number 18. Move this up some more so I can see. Large pieces or snack size pieces, definitely large ones. The larger the better, more colors the better. Place diamonds with tweezers or a pin. I am not a tweezer placer. That is just, I can't do it. I've tried it. It's like me trying to use chopsticks. I can use chopsticks for meat, but try to use chopsticks with rice and I'm a hot mess. And so that is me with tweezers. Um, squares or rounds. If I want to do something faster, not have to think so much, I prefer rounds. But if it is a picture that more than likely I am going to frame or hang up, then I want squares. But lately I have been enjoying doing rounds. Okay, so the next one is, what is your favorite method for placing AB drills? I like to use the, oh gosh, what are those things called? I just went blank. Oh, no, no, no. Um, let me think. Um, pretty placers. Oh, it just went, I just lost it for a minute there. I like to use pretty placer, the crayons, or they look like crayons, and they're wax. I started using those a long time ago. I like using those for ABs, but that's all I like to use it for. I don't use it for anything else because it's single placing, you know, which is okay, but I just prefer to use those for multi. It also helps because it doesn't take away, I don't care where I am, it doesn't take away from the actual 
the actual ABs. It's not going to take some of the color off, which is really important. Um, what is your preferred method of sectioning off a canvas? I like to use the washi method. I, at first, I prefer to use the, the paper and then I thought, you know, I just don't know if I like this. And I still do that sometimes. And especially now that I have found Crashly because she has some of the cutest release paper. And I did purchase some at the retreat from her. And so now I'm gonna start going back to doing, you know, just one or two rows with release paper, not doing the whole thing with release paper and just moving the release paper down. And I've done that a lot too. So I just kind of a combination, depends on what I'm working on. Number 24, do you have any other crafts do you have any other crafty hobbies aside from diamond painting? Yes, um, I've mentioned that on my channel a couple times. I love to make cards. I make cards for my church. I make cards for cards for soldiers. And I also do memory keeping. I used to be a very heavy invested, I might add, with scrapbooking. But my kids are older and I just haven't scrapbooked in years. I would like to get caught up on some of their scrapbooks from their, their school days, but you know, they both have already graduated. Um, my daughter is now working as a nursing assistant. My young, my oldest, my youngest has graduated from school. And so they're not interested in me doing that anymore. Not like they used to be. I'm trying to figure out where in the world I am. I'm just oh, right there. Okay. They're not, and they're not invested in that anymore. They don't want to scrapbook. And I am actually going through some of their old scrapbooks. I'm combining some pages, getting rid of some things because I don't want them, if something happens to me, I don't want them to be stuck trying to figure out what to do with all of these albums that I have. And some are duplicates. They're not going to be interested in them. And I don't want them to have to feel guilty about getting rid of them or trying to figure out what to do with them. So I know they're not going to want to keep them. And that's about all. I don't really do anything else. Just card making. I do Bible journaling. That's part of my memory keeping. I have gotten a little behind on my Bible journaling. If you guys would like to see anything let me know. I will be glad to, to show you some things that I have done or to explain how to do some of these things. I named my channel The Crafty Diamond because I didn't know at the time was I going to stick with diamond painting or was I going to just decide to do other activities on my channel as well. And so that's why I call it Crafty Diamond because that way I can do either one. And that was very important to me. Let's see, that was 24. 25, who do you, tag, who do you want to tag on this video? And I'm going to tag Kimba's Crafts and Angie's Crafting with Diamonds, Joan Diamond Paints, also Stitcherista, I'm not sure if anyone has tagged her, but she was the first content creator that really got me interested in diamond painting. I found her before I found anybody else. I learned how to diamond paint because of her. And so I wanted to shout out to her to let her know that I did tag her in this. And then also Diamond Paintings by Laura, she may have already been tagged as well, but if not, then I am tagging her. So I will have all of their information underneath descriptions as well. I'm sure most of you have already heard of these creators and you're watching them, but if not, they will um, have the opportunity for these tags. And I hope that you guys enjoyed 
my answers to the tags. If you would like to answer some of these, feel free to underneath description, as well as underneath the Facebook group. And I have the Facebook group link underneath on my video. So you will have, you can, that's the way you can go in and do that. You're not able to post anything on YouTube, but you do have the opportunity underneath my Facebook to go in and post either what you're working on or some of these. I can even put underneath the Facebook, I will copy these questions and that, that way they're out there for you guys to answer. You will have to answer a couple of questions in order to be accepted into my Facebook group. That just makes sure that people who do come in, that they understand that this is a, or that is a diamond painting group. And that's what we do. So it's easy questions, but it kind of helps me to weed out some. I don't want bots in there. I don't want people who are not with this craft to be in there. I am getting closer to finishing. And next time that I do this particular project, this canvas, and I video it, I will go back and answer some of the questions that's underneath the whipping chat that I did the last time. And I do have several of those because I haven't done those in a while. But I thought it'd be fun to do the tags and because I was tagged this week, I really wanted to get it in. And I really wanted to work on this one. So I had a win-win, which is always nice. I don't know how long this video has been going. I've gotten almost all of these two done, which is definitely a good thing. And I want to show you guys where I am. And maybe, just maybe, you will see some progress before, or you'll see some progress next Saturday before I even get started. So let me move this over. I am now at... 8,000, I just lost that, 8,735 stitches or drills out of 75,400, and that gives me 11.58%. My goal is to have at least 20% for the year, and with it only being July, another five months, I will, I should be able to get the 20%. I don't see a problem with the 20%. I think that is doable. And then next year, I'm going to up it even more, depending on how far I get this year. But let me move this over. I want you to be able to see some of this. Hopefully you can. I'm gonna to have to move the camera over just a little bit so you can see what this is looking like. My computer's in the way. This isn't really an easy way to do this because it is such a large canvas. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna move it down. My favorite so far is still the tree because I can tell it's a tree. Um, but it's starting to come along here and then all up here, we're seeing some flowers, if you can see that. Still have a long way to go until I get to the end. Once I get to the end of this one, I'm doing two rows at a time. Once I get to the end of that, I'm gonna come back down and I'm gonna start doing two rows until I get to the end. I did this here. I like going across better than I do down, but I wanted to see how much, make sure that I had enough, that I did calculate this correctly and lucky for me, I did. But let me show you too, because I hadn't shown you this in a while. Let me show you what this looks like if I zoom out on my Kindle Fire. And it just closed. It's opening. I 
don't know why it always comes up to say connect device in Alexa. We don't even use Alexa. And sometimes it takes me forever to be able to get to where I was that I just don't know what I'm doing. That could be possibly part of it. All right, let me move this down some so you guys can see. You won't be able to see all of it. See, how cool is this? I don't know how much you guys can see. Let me move over some more. But this is what it looks like. And if I try to, if I go out too much, you will not be able to see anything. But there's a start of the tree. And it actually looks like what I'm working on. So that's definitely a win-win. So if you look at this, and then you look at mine, especially here, you had this black through there. And then you have that one. So that's looking, it's looking like mine. I'm going to put both of them side by side. So that looks pretty cool. Makes it a little bit blurry, but I am getting there, getting there. And then this, if I zoom this out some, can't really see much there, but that's exactly what mine's looking like. Same colors and everything. You can see the top of mine, the top of there. So at least that makes me happy that I can tell that, you know, something's going on. Because if you put the wrong one in, you're obviously it's going to be a problem. You're not going to be able to see what it's supposed to look like. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that you have a wonderful day. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.